I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is a, another Higher Things video short. As a Christian, how shall I vote? This is, that's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all platforms. Search Higher Things. You'll see that wonderful HT donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Our kids need this gospel. Give today. Link in the description. All right, so it's election time. It's getting close. How do we vote? Well, first, it's, an, it's necessary to understand that as a Christian, you are free in Christ to participate in your government. You're free to hold office. You're free to um, vote. You're free to campaign for someone. Um, uh, Christianity uh, does not prohibit you from participating in uh, civil activities. And that's important because there are some Christian denominations who feel that way. There's nothing in the Bible against that, okay? Second, you're not saved by being something or not being something, okay? So you're not saved by being conservative. You're not saved by being liberal. You're not saved by not being conservative, and you're not saved by not being liberal or libertarian or the like. Um, your salvation is Jesus on Good Friday, achieved Easter forgiveness delivered to you in the waters of your baptism. And so the uh, it all rests on Jesus. So, so that makes you free. So you're free in Christ now to look uh, both to participate in, in, in the civil realm and to decide what's best and what best agrees with your Christian faith. Which brings me to three issues. Issues that you should be looking at as a Christian. And the primary issue in America for us to be tackling as a Christian church is abortion. Sorry, that is the primary issue. Uh, there is no way that we can avoid judgment in our land if we continue to senselessly slaughter babies. And so first things first, you need to ask yourself, how does this candidate feel? How does he, has, what, is he what is his stand on abortion? Is he for abortion? Is he for abortion up until the point in which the baby is born? Is he, is he for even aborting a baby that has been born, which would also be known as murder? And so how do you sort of grasp that, how they grasp that issue, how candidates grasp that issue should be very important to you. A close second in that is religious freedom. How are they for curbing religious freedom? Are they going to allow, as, as, a, as the Christian church, we just want to be left alone <laughs> by the government. We don't want to be persecuted, all right? We're, uh, Christianity is not about changing culture in so much as it is about saving people's souls. Now, you can say that, well, if somebody's sort of hears the gospel, believes the gospel, they will change it. Yes, but the end goal is the salvation of our uh, salvation, not only changing the world. Is that a Eric Clapton song? You can change the world. All right. Anyway, um, so how a candidate feels about religious freedom is really important. If a candidate is from a party in which it, which religion and Christianity is looked down upon, you might want to pause before you pull that lever for them, no matter whether they're red or blue um, or green. Um, how that sort of how they, that sort of plays out with them is important. It's important because our faith is important. You see, Christianity isn't just um, a part of your life along with all the other parts of your life that you can ignore when you get into the ballot box. No, you go into that booth to do the, I'm not going to call it a sacred duty because it's not, but your civil duty of voting you are baptized when you vote, and that affects how you vote, okay? Lastly, 
this isn't a religion. Civil participation is not a religion. And I, I, I put a video, it's in the description, about how politics have become religion for some folks. It's not your religion. Your faith was founded when Christ died on that cross. Your faith rests solely on the suffering and death of Jesus and his subsequent resurrection on the third day. So you vote as forgiven children of God, understanding that this is soon all coming to an end, that there will be a trumpet sound, there will be Jesus in the, in, in the sky from east to west, and the dead in Christ will raise, and you will too. And so you vote knowing that you're a stranger in a strange land, and that this isn't your religion. This is your civil service, this is your duty, this is your vocation as an American, um, but there's a greater calling. You're a citizen of heaven. You're just having your passport here. Think about it. If you think more on this, comments, questions, thoughts, I'm open to being corrected by the scriptures and the word of God and sound reason. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.